Good morning, everyone. So back in the shop, uh, we got a few things done. Got some junk for the wall, a clock and stuff, calendar, whiteboard, and uh, picked up the table legs. So we're gonna be able to put together the table tops for the student stuff very soon. Um, I'm gonna paint these black, I think, just to match that, just cause, you know, consistency. And uh, we'll get this all put together. I don't know exactly know how many, but uh, there we go. Tables are more or less put together. I still have to secure them to the actual bases, but pretty happy with how they turned out. This is a crescent that uh, is very typical of most jewelers benches. We like to sit, you know, with our elbows on the sides or something and just get close to the work. You put a bench pin right here. Uh, in this case, I've actually got some inset threads. And these are for this thing. So these can be screwed down and you just kind of attach this and detach it whenever you're done. I've got a similar set on my bench and I'm probably gonna put another set here. Um, seeing as how these are the you know, student benches uh, or rentable, I'm not really sure how we're gonna run it yet. Um, this is probably not going to live on someone's bench, but at least there's the option. I've also built a few other tools that can fit on there, like a, a wax sprueing thing and whatever. Anyway, uh, due to COVID restrictions, we're probably only going to cut one more here and one more on the opposite side of that on that side. Um, the idea originally was to do one, two, three, four, but, you know, I can't have eight people in a small space like this. So, well, I mean, maybe I can, I haven't actually looked, but I, I'm not gonna risk it. I think four or five is, is a perfectly fine number. Anyway, uh, more about the tables. So here we've drilled uh, half inch holes and they are going to have these. These are half inch steel. Well, this is a really short one, by the way. This one goes over here next to the shear. There's a hole right under there that doesn't work anymore, obviously, but that threads into here and then you can have a flex shaft or something, but it doesn't work anymore. So we have an extra hanger thing and that's cool. But anyway, these really long ones, they will go into those holes. Only five of them, of course, I don't have enough for every single one and they can kind of pick if they're right or left handed and that will hang the Fordham just like mine is right here and see how it's got that uh, goes right up through. Mine's like the original one. I didn't put two on both sides, but oh well. Uh, it still works. The Fordham's great, hangs, and it keeps the whip nice and straight. And it's always, you know, within reach whenever I need it, which is nice, so. Anyway, that's the plan. Pretty happy with how this all turned out there. Um, a little bit wobbly, but then again, I haven't attached the top on yet, so I think that might get fixed when it's all together. Worst possible case is I'll take out these screws that are holding the leg onto the posts, and we'll swap them out for something much heavier. I actually brought some, if I can find them. There's a, oh, here. Swap them out for something more like this with big washers, and that'll really suck everything together. Obviously, I'll get longer ones, but something a bit more tough, you know? You guys, so I've been sitting around, well, not sitting around, I've been working, but thinking a lot about how we're gonna possibly set up this space. And a few options occurred to me, as they are now, you can kind of see, so there's that one, and then there's this one. There's not a whole lot of space. 
Um, now, I wasn't going to cut out a ton of these crescents from every single side. Now, ultimately, that would be a great goal if it works for everybody. Um, but I was thinking maybe two per table. So one here and then one on the other side right about here. Or alternatively, one here and one there. And then they kind of sit across from each other with this diamondy thing here. Anyway. Um, I'm just looking at the amount of space that's left. Like this is the walkway to my bench. Not too bad. I've been in tighter shops. This isn't that bad. I was gonna put the anvil over here in the corner. And then there's this walkway here. And there's this kind of walkway. This, this door can kind of cover the anvil when not in use. And then that gives everybody, I think that's not a terrible option. Um, but alternatively, what if we were to put this table in that corner and then so put this table in that corner and then when you walk in the door you have one person sitting here one person there more or less i think this is not quite as wide as that so there would be a little bit of a gap obviously i'll move the board and all this junk will disappear at some point um, but then that leaves this entire area open for that table to move over a little bit and then maybe we can put the vise and the anvil behind the door in the middle. And then it's kind of, you know, universally accessible. And then that leaves this area for a locker. I'm thinking like a stack of lockers for six people, total, all six total, because they have to come in uh, even numbers. So I don't know, that's a thought. What do you guys think? Um, I'm going to be taking basically all of December just to get this shop set up uh, then the idea is that we're going to have workshops for january going uh, in preparation for valentine's day so we're thinking like a couples thing where we can have you know both people come in we'll have like some snacks or something and uh, maybe we'll have uh, some wax we'll be making wax rings uh, then i will cast them finish them over there and uh, that'll be the course basically just a fun little valentine's thing that people can take home and have a little memento whatever um so that's the thought and then after that we might be renting this uh, renting bench space as it were with access to the majority of the tools which i think some people who especially are beginning will greatly appreciate um i know well i'm here now I, with all these tools in a space but when I was first starting out, that was very intimidating thought, and it's been ta it's taken years to get here. So maybe we'll see how it goes. Um, yeah, we'll see how it goes. Hey guys, so I uh, I kind of started on this and I forgot to do the vlog thing, but anyway, I'm making up for it before I get too far. So here we are. I'm gonna use this uh, jigsaw I picked up cheap. And I'm just going to cut this line that I've cut. It's actually the inside line. I kind of got off on a weird thing here. Not an exact science, but um, anyway, so it's going to be this crescent, that one, kitty cornered. We're going to leave this side, I think, the way it is. And then on this one, uh, without the crud, obviously, um, I'm going to put these ones opposite. And I believe... The plan that we've settled on, Shannon and I, um, is that we're going to put this in the corner, this one, this one in that corner, yeah, the, the that one, whatever, uh, corner, uh, and then this one is going to live kind of in the middle, um, going, look, people looking this direction. And then what we'll, that will allow us to do is attach things to this table, for example, uh, the ring winder, um, just things that are generally needed in the shop more often than not. Um, and I think we'll also put the, the vise and the anvil, which is over in the corner, uh, butted up against this one as well. And then we have access to the shear, and it kind of makes this a bit better in terms of setup because this won't be put up against the wall, completely unusable, unless you move it away anyway. So that'll make both stations very usable. Uh, the anvil will live right next to it, right in the middle for everyone to use whenever they want, which I think is good. And um, yeah, I think that's going to be the plan for now. Um, obviously, being our own space, we can do whatever we want, but definitely going to get these cut. So we'll get started on that. Mm -hmm. 